When nine people were killed at a church in Charleston, South Carolina, many of you commented that had the shooter been black, the police would have killed him. And had he been a Muslim, the media would have labeled him a terrorist. We've already told you why we don't call anyone a terrorist. It's our policy not to use the terms terrorist or terrorism to label a person, group, or action. But we've been called out for calling the events a shooting and not a massacre, and many of you had a problem with us calling Dylan Roof an alleged or suspected killer. Muslim Texan said on Facebook, notice how he is a suspected gunman. Any other race and he'd be a dead terrorist. And Evan Phoenix said, this was not merely a shooting, it was a massacre. So let's start with Roof himself. He was caught on camera going into the church and he hasn't protested his innocence. There's also a manifesto that's believed to have been published by him that makes it clear that he was planning something like this attack. It seems pretty obvious that he's guilty, right? So why do we still call him a suspect or the alleged killer? We have to assume that someone's innocent until they are proven guilty, and that is a law in many countries around the world. Even if there's a confession, we prefer to be careful, especially when the details are still emerging. This is a journalistic standard that we will always follow, especially for a story this important. As for why we didn't call the Charleston attack a massacre, it's a bit more simple. Our definition for that word is when 10 or more people are killed indiscriminately. That number might seem like a random choice, but we try to apply our standards consistently. At the end of the day, accuracy is the most important thing. We referred to the events as a shooting, mentioned how many people were killed, and described what we knew about the suspect's motivation. As with all our coverage, we choose our words carefully, report the facts, and let you form your own opinion. A white guy who flies a plane into a government building? Was it terror or just anger? And some people love to overuse it. Now, Mr. Obama.